Hello and welcome back to Divine Dialogue with me, your host, David Douglas. We have a very special program for you today, beginning with a highly anticipated interview with the one and only Dr. Harry Johnson. Yeah, I think you got a fan. <laughs> so, you know I gotta ask, is that your real name? <laughs> uh, yes, David, it sure is. Wow. Your childhood must have been rough. With a name like Harry Johnson? <laughs> That's a pretty big innuendo. Well, yes, my childhood was quite challenging, uh, but it wasn't due to the teasing, but because of my advanced academic achievements. Uh, that's right. We should expect that from someone who got their PhD at 20 years old. Why don't you tell the audience about that? Well, after completing middle school, I began attending LUV. And after six years of schooling, like you said, I graduated with my PhD. Wow, that's extraordinary. And everyone here has been waiting anxiously for the release of your new book. I believe it's Conversion or Damnation. Yes, David, thank you. Thank you so much. So, Conversion or Damnation, it's my latest masterpiece. In today's world, there's a new trend of identifying with the LGB community. And that's what I'm trying to fix. I want to save those poor American souls. Delilah, I'm so glad you made it. I was starting to get worried that you were gonna miss your appointment today. That's what I wanted to talk with you about. Oh? Well, uh, I've decided that I'm not going to continue our sessions. Well, take a seat. Let's, let's talk. Now, why would you want to end our sessions? Just last week you said you were still having urges. I know, but I think I'm cured now. I don't think about women that way anymore. I promise. I know you may believe that you are cured. However, we've put so much time into this process and quitting now would just mean throwing it away. I do think we could do some more work. Please excuse me, I have to use the restroom. Sorry about that. I just wanted to let you know that I need to head out. About this? I just can't believe this is it. After all the progress we've made. It's a miracle. Thank you. My pleasure. We're back, and if you're just joining us, I'm here with Dr. Harry Johnson. Doctor, tell us about your new book. Yes, David, thank you. Conversion or Damnation, it's my latest masterpiece. In today's world, it has become trendy to identify with the LGB community. And that's what I'm trying to fix. I want to save those lost souls of America. Incredibly true, Doc. Everyone deserves to go to heaven, and that's what we want for them. Some people just need a little more help. I just don't understand why you don't want to tell anyone. Don't you want to see this guy locked up? I just don't want to make a big deal about it. That's exactly what you should be doing. It's a big fucking deal. I told him today that I'm not going back. So, can we just drop it? Just because your parents would have cut you off if you didn't go, doesn't mean you had to go. But 
Why the fuck would you even go back? Do you think that I wanted to? That's ridiculous. No, what's ridiculous is you're blaming me for this right now. And instead of being a good, supportive girlfriend, you're just being a fucking bitch about it. Wait, Lily, I'm sorry. Breaking news this morning, 21-year-old Delilah Samuels has been reported missing. She was last seen three days ago in her home, and investigators are asking that anyone with any information do bring it forward immediately to help aid the investigation. And while the Samuels family have been quite vocal on their suspicions, police have failed to find any conclusive evidence on the matter. We have a very special program for you today, beginning with a highly anticipated interview with the one and only Dr. Harry Johnson. And that's what I'm trying to fix. I want to save those lost souls of America. Incredibly true, Doc. Everyone deserves to go to heaven, and that's what we want for them. Some people just need a little more help. A new development in the missing persons case of 21-year-old Delilah Samuels. If you have children present, I would advise moving them to a different room. After one week, investigators have discovered the body of Miss Samuels. They found her in the middle of the fields in the deepest parts of St. John's Forest. While police haven't shared much information, they have stated that they suspect foul play and that they found a silver cross necklace in the victim's hands. No, no, no. Thank you. 